Hey everyone, Calendal here. Um, I'm bringing you the long-awaited video that will show you how to add custom sound bites to your I'm Raising Live Bar. Uh, before we begin, I just want you guys to know you need two things that are very critical to this operation. One, you need somewhere you can host your own custom files. You're going to be creating your own HTML Live Bar file, and you're also going to have a custom sound bite uh, in MP3 format you're going to want to use. You need somewhere to host these on the internet. So an FTP site, if you have your own website hosting, if you have a friend who can host it for you. Um, I believe you can use temporary hosting sites, but those links won't last forever. So you'll need to find a place to host these. Um, that being said, uh, I think that's all you need. Oh yes, you'll also need a um, to download a file called, uh, where is it? You will want to download a Notepad++. Um, this program right here. Um, you can see here it says Notepad++. Uh, this Notepad is very useful because it has um, numbered lines and it's very useful for what you're going to be trying to do. So make sure you download that. I'll make sure I include a link in the description uh, for where you can download this for free. So Notepad++ ah, Notepad++ and you're also going to need a uh, place to be able to host your own files. So that being said, let's get started. Um, for step number one, we're going to want to make sure that your live bar uh, has enabled custom sounds, or enabled sounds at all, really. Um, if you guys remember from my first video, here we are and I'm raising. Um, you've already set this up if you watched my previous video. We're going to go down here and you're going to see Calendal's live stream. Now, if you guys remember, this bar was used um, to display my notifications for payments received as well as to play my custom sound. So, Calendal's live stream, we're going to go ahead and um, edit right here and here is my live bar you want to go all the way to the bottom um, under your animated messages and you want to make sure that a it's enabled and you have all your custom message stuff right here um, the amount the screen name and the comment that the user is leaving you for donating and you want to make sure that the live sound bar is enabled this is set to true this has to be set to true or this is not going to work so once you publish this and you're all done what you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up and view your custom live bar, so, which is right here. So we're at imraising.com, Calendel, Widgets, Cali's live stream. So here is the bar that I use on my stream right now. Um, but this is only with the default sound bite. We want to make a custom sound bite. So what you need to do is right click on your bar, like that, and you want to view page source. So I'll give you a second to do that view page source and you're gonna get a lot of code here is the actual HTML document with all of our code that goes into the live bar notification and the soundbite being played and this is all at imraising.com the copy we're gonna make we're gonna host ourselves and it's gonna be similar to this but a little different so what you wanna do now you wanna press control A left control A and this will select all on your screen just like this okay and after you hit control A and selected everything, you want to hit control C for copy. Control C, I tap that once. And now you're going to want to go into your Notepad++ program, which I have open right here. Okay? So here's Notepad++. You guys want to click anywhere inside and hit control V as in Victor. And that will paste all of the code into this Notepad++. Now the reason this is important I mean, you don't have to have Notepad++, but you see how it's all numbered right here? This numbered area lets you find what I'm about to tell you a lot easier. So, now that we have this in here, uh, we're going to find lines 188 and 190. So let's go down to 188 and 190. Here we are. And on these lines, we're going to find this falling snippet of code. Var my sound um, equals new buzz sound, etc., etc., etc. So what we need to do is we need to replace this right here with your own custom sound bite. Does that make sense to you guys? We need to replace this with our own hosted MP3 file. So to give you an example of this, um, here is a sound bite that let's say you want to use. Oh yeah. Okay, that's a custom sound bite. Uh, it's just yeah.mp3. You're going to need a file that is in mp3 format 
This is not the file we're going to use. I just want to make sure you know that it has to be a file.mp3. Okay? So what I did on my setup is I have my own custom hosting. Um, here is my file manager. This is a uh, godaddy.com website hosting package that I have. And so what I did is I came in here and I uploaded my imraising.mp3 file. You can see that right here. imraising.mp3. And I also uploaded a livebar HTML file, which is right here. Livebar.htm. So this live bar is my custom live bar that I um, edited the code on, which I'm about to show you. And I'm raising that MP3 is the MP3, uh, MP3 file I'm using, which I will also show you. These two files need to be uploaded and hosted on the internet somewhere so you can use them for this bar. So to show you the end result before we go back to the code, here is my personal I'm raising widget, heimdahlguild.com slash twitch slash twitch. And this is inherently assuming that you have a .htm or .html at the end of this. So this is my custom uh, handcrafted live bar. It looks exactly like the other one, but now it's hosted on my website. Okay, we're going to show you how to do this in a second. I just want you to see like the end result. So now I'm using this bar right here when I'm doing my OBS and my Twitch settings for a live stream. I am capturing this window now and not the I'm raising one. So it no longer says I'm raising, it says Heimdall Guild because that's my personal website and I'm now hosting my own live bar. So this live bar is going to go ahead and use this MP3 file. HeimdallGuild.com, Twitch, I'm raising.mp3. Now you guys just saw that, right? Right here. I'm hosting my I'm raising MP3 website, um, MP3 right here. And this live bar.htm, which is my new custom live bar, inside the code of this file, it's pointing to this MP3. So here's my custom one for my stream. Dun, da, da. Oh my god, I got a donation. Thank you. I love you. Come on. Okay, so you guys have heard that on my stream before if you watch. Uh, here's the mp3 file, and here is the custom bar. Now how do you get this custom bar here, and how do you get it to point to this file? I will show you right now. Let's go back to our uh, notepad. So, again, here we are. This is the custom notepad. I just copy and pasted the code from the I'm raising bar here, and now we're going to make a few edits and make it our own, okay? So we went to line 188 through 190, and we found var my sound equal new buzz dot sound. So what you need to do is you want to take this I'm raising soundbite, which is the default, and replace it with your custom soundbite. So what I'm going to do is I'll go back to my website here. Let's go back to my link. Here is the link to where my custom soundbite is. Okay, I'm raising dot mp3. Let's go back into the file. You're going to take this. You're going to replace it with this. Now, the important thing here is you do not want the extension on here because it already puts the formats right here. It assumes OGG or MP3. So come in here and replace, just get rid of this part. You do not want the .mp3 to show. You just want I'm raising or whatever your soundbite's called. So here now we have my new custom link. This is where my soundbite is. And now this is where the live bar I'm creating is going to go for the custom sound whenever it needs to play. So now that we're done with that part, um, you're going to want to delete lines 29 through 32 now. So let's go back up to d lines 20, what did I say, 29 through 32. So 29 through 32. So we have these all highlighted, all right? You do not want this in your file anymore. So we're going to go ahead and delete those, just like that. And then what we're going to want to do um, in place of the files we just deleted. We're going to put them right in here. We want to add a line called var delta time equals zero. Okay, do you guys see that? This, you need to manually type this in. We just deleted lines 29 through 32 and anywhere between lines 29 and 32, now that we've deleted it, we need to type in var space delta time space equals space zero. Go ahead and just look at this for a little bit. Make sure you got it. We deleted lines 29 through 32, and we have added a line called var delta time equals zero. Make sure it looks exactly like this. Spelling, um, capital T, space, you know, equal sign space zero. Okay? You can pause the stream to make sure you got that. All right. 
now that you guys have got that added in, you are now done editing your file. So what you need to do is hit File, Save As, and we're just going to save this somewhere. Oops, my bad. We'll just go to my downloads, we'll go to custom I'm raising. We'll call this custom live bar. And we want to save this as an HTML file. So where is my HTML file? There we go. Hypertext markup language file. HTML, HTM, same thing. Okay? So we're gonna go ahead and hit save. And now what that's going to do is here's that custom like sound file you might have that you've already uploaded to the internet. Here is our custom livebar.html. So if we want to test this locally to make sure it looks correct, we should be able to open this. And here we go. So what we did is we went into Notepad++, we made those edits, we saved it as an HTML file, which is right here, and I'm opening this file up locally right here. Here's my E drive custom sound, I'm raising, blah, 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 custom live bar .html. So I just open this in here. Obviously, it looks good. Okay, recent donor, top donor, boom. Here's my custom bar. So what you want to do with this file now um, is make sure this is uploaded to wherever you uploaded your MP3 file. They don't have to be in the same place, but um, you need to have them um, hosted online. So let's go back to our website in our file manager. So here's my FTP site again. I hope this is all making sense. Now what I would do, now that I've made that custom HTML file, I would upload it to my FTP site and it's called livebar.htm. This is my real actual live bar that I use for my stream. I uploaded it to my um, FTP site and here is my MP3 file that it's referencing. So at the end of the day, now if I make a, you know, open up a new tab here, um, we're going to go to my actual custom I'm raising bar. So now here it is. Heimdall dot, or heimdallguild.com twitch slash twitch. Um, twitch.htm if it's hidden. So this is my live bar. Finished product. I use this whenever I stream. And that is pretty much the whole tutorial. That's how you set it up. Um, I know that's probably a little confusing for you guys. Um, I know that that could probably be very confusing. So I hope that made sense. Um, if you guys have any more questions on how to set it up, um, you guys can actually go to imraising.com and on the main page they have the instructions for how to do this right on the front page. So here it is, custom sound files on live bars. You can click on this and go to their Tumblr page and here is the actual procedure what we just went through all right here. Now, I figured some people wanted, you know, they said they couldn't figure it out, they couldn't get it to work. Um, they wanted a video stepping them through it. So here's the video. If you don't want to listen to my, <laughs> you probably already listened to my lame voice since we've already gone through this whole thing. But if you need to, you know, step by step go through this um, and have a set of text instructions as well, they're right here. And I'll make sure I copy paste all this into my description of my video as well. So here you can see copy your live bar, copy paste, copy the text, open it up notepad++, here's find lines 188 through 190, do this, delete lines 29 through 32, it's all right here, okay guys? So I hope this helped you guys. If you have any questions, make sure you hit me up on you know YouTube, um, Facebook, Twitter, whatever you got to do, and we'll make sure we get you set up, okay? Um, the only tricky part of this is just finding a place to host your files. But I'm sure if you all know someone who can help you out, it shouldn't be a big deal. Um, that's it. So I hope that video was helpful. And um, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy.